In this video, we'll be looking at the Sea to Summit Dry Light Towel, which is one of the 10 best camping towels that I review on this channel. I'll be unboxing and testing the Dry Light Towel against dirt, sand, and seawater. I will also give you a breakdown of its key features, such as absorbency, quick drying abilities, material, and more. Let's get right into it. Here's the Sea to Summit Dry Light Towel from Amazon. I bought the small, medium, large and extra large sizes and here's how much I paid for each one. The main towel that I'll be testing is the large, which I paid $25 for. And with that, let's get into the unboxing. So, what do you get when you buy a Sea to Summit dry light towel? You get a storage pouch, the towel, and an instruction manual right here. Here are the dry lights official specs from Sea to Summit. These differed from my personal measurements by about 4 to 5 percent, and I'll give you those right now. Length 46 inches or 117 cm, width 23 inches or 58 cm. Weight of towel, 5.3 ounces or 151 grams. Weight of storage pouch, 0.35 ounces or 10 grams. Pack size, 6.5 by 6 by 1.5 inches or 16.5 by 15 by 4 cm. The dry light towel is made of 70% polyester and 30% polyamide, which is nylon and is made in China. The Sea to Summit dry light towel has a hanging loop, so you can hang your towel on a hook at home, on a clothesline, in the outdoors, or even on your pack when you're hiking. You can also just hang it to dry on a tree without the loop. For additional convenience, it is machine washable, though you might want to be careful about the colors running, which I'll explain later. As for the storage pouch, the front is meshed for ventilation, while the back is made of a lightweight material. The dry light is also marketed to be fast drying and super absorbent. Is it though? Let's test it to find out. To test absorbency, I measured the amount of water in this bucket, soaked the dry light towel and measured whatever water was left. So essentially, the dry light towel absorbed 450 ml of water. As it weighs 151 grams, total absorbency is 450 divided by 151, which is about 3 times. I also performed the same test on a similar size cotton bath towel, which absorbed 1,100 ml of water and has a slightly higher absorbency of 3.26 times. 
As the cotton towel is quite a bit fluffier, it beats the dry light towel in terms of absorbing. After soaking the Cedar Summit dry light towel, I wringed out as much water as possible. Here's the dry light before wringing and after wringing. So, after wringing, the dry light weighed 294 grams or 10.4 ounces. This means that 32% of water was left. As for the cotton towel, it weighed 842 grams or 29.7 ounces after wringing and 46% of water was left. Here's the comparison between the dry light and the cotton towel. If you enjoyed what you've seen so far, please hit that like button as it will really help me to produce more content like this for you. Thank you! After wringing, I left both the Sea to Summit dry light and the cotton towel to dry outdoors. The dry light started off at 294 grams or 10.4 ounces and dried completely in about 40 minutes. On the other hand, the cotton towel took 2 hours and 15 minutes to dry. When left indoors to dry after wringing, the dry light took a total of 6 hours to dry completely. In contrast, the cotton towel took much longer, drying only after 27 hours. Here is a summary of the outdoor and indoor timings for this drying test. The dry light is much less fluffy, so it dried more quickly. For this next drying test, I measured 100 ml or 3.4 fluid ounces of water for the Cedar Summit dry light and also for the cotton towel and left both of them to dry outdoors. This is to make sure that both towels absorb the same amount of water. The dry light started off at 251 grams or 8.9 ounces and dried completely in about 29 minutes. As for the cotton towel, it took quite a bit longer, drying in about 40 minutes. I also conducted the same test indoors. When left indoors, the dry light took 4 hours and 15 minutes to dry completely. On the other hand, the cotton towel took much longer, drying in about 7 hours. Here's a summary of the outdoor and indoor timings for this 100ml drying test, which shows that the dry light dries much more quickly than the cotton towel. I soaked both the Sea to Summit dry light and the cotton towel in seawater, wringed out whatever I could, then sealed both in separate plastic bags. At the two day mark, the dry light had a somewhat strong musky smell, while the cotton towel smelled sour and unpleasant. At the four day mark, the dry light had no change in smell, while the cotton towel started smelling like food that had gone bad. I also checked for mold on the dry light and there wasn't any. For this grass and dirt test, I dragged both the Cedar Summit dry light and the cotton towel along a stretch of grass and stepped on them. The dry light picked up only one speck of dirt, which I shook off really easily. The cotton towel picked up more dirt, which I thought came off easily, but after getting home, I noticed some dirt was still stuck to it. For this test, the dry light trumps the cotton towel. When it came to sand, some did stick to the dry light, though a few good shakes got rid of it. Sand also stuck to the cotton towel, but shaking it did the job as well. Both towels did well in the sand test. The cotton towel might have performed better than you expected because it's not fluffy and has short piles. The Sea to Summit dry light weighs 151 grams or 5.3 ounces, whereas a similar sized cotton towel weighs 337 grams or 11.9 ounces. It is also significantly more compact. Here's what it looks like beside the cotton towel from the side and also from the top. For further comparison, here's what the dry light looks like beside a 16 ounce and a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle from the side and from the top. The dry light comes with a hanging loop for easy carry and drying and you never have to worry about it dragging on the floor. As for the storage pouch, sadly, it doesn't come with a hanging loop. To fold the dry light, simply keep halving it until it fits back into the storage pouch. You can also just stuff it back into the pouch easily without folding. The Sea to Summit dry light towel is soft and smooth to the touch with a suede finish and isn't stiff. However, the large size is a little smaller than a regular bath towel and it also sticks to your skin so you have to pat down instead of wiping. As for quality, the stitching is consistent with no gaps but started to fray a little bit. After about 4 months of light usage, the dry light went from its original weight of 151 grams to a weight of 149 grams, losing more than 1% of its original material. The dry light colors also tend to bleed a lot. 
On the first wash, the grey color bled the least, followed by the cobalt blue, and the berry color was the worst, staining my storage pouch and my other camping towels. The hanging loop is high quality and secure and the dry light won't drag on the ground, whereas the velcro of the storage pouch seems to be of lesser quality. It started giving way right out of the box and the tiny velcro hooks kept dropping off. To sum up, the dry light isn't that comfortable and the quality seems to be lacking. I read the reviews on Amazon and here's what I found. Positive reviews said that the Sea to Summit dry light towel is fast drying, absorbent, compact and lightweight. From my testing, I found that the dry light dries about 30% faster than a cotton towel, is more compact, but has a slightly lower absorbency. The dry light is also not the fastest drying camping towel on the market and is also not the most compact. On the other hand, negative reviews have said that the dry light towel sticks to your skin, does not dry you off well, picks up odors, and tends to bleed. From my experience, I agree with all of these. It's not the most comfortable and my dry light towels bled quite a bit. I also read something about antibacterial treatment, but my dry light towels did not have that, which explains the picking up of odors. So what are my personal pros and cons for the Sea to Summit dry light towel? Pros, the dry light is resistant to grass, dirt and sand particles. It's also compact and wrings out 68% of the water it absorbs. As for cons, the dry light sticks to skin and isn't that comfortable. It also picks up odors, the quality isn't great, and it bleeds a lot. As for absorbency and drying time, the dry light is just average compared to other camping towels. So neither a pro nor a con for these. Would I recommend the Sea to Summit dry light towel? Well, it's a pretty good camping towel and it beats a regular cotton towel in aspects like ringing, drying, odor resistance, dirt repellents, and portability. However, I don't think I can recommend dry light towel simply because it isn't outstanding in any way. I have other camping towels that are more dirt repellent, more compact, that ring out better, while at the same time being more comfortable and picking up no odors at all. In fact, out of all the camping towels I have, the dry light has the most severe bleeding issue, which is a pretty big con. In that case, which is the best camping towel that I recommend? Here's a video where I bought 10 of the best camping towels on the market, tested them rigorously, and gave all my recommendations. If you enjoyed this review, I'm sure you would love that video too. If you prefer reading over watching, please visit my website at campingguidance.com where you can find all this info as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.